Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made the Loot Llama from Fortnite for the gamer in your life. So let's get right into it. I'm starting out with two 8 inch square cakes and I'm going to be filling some Swiss meringue buttercream in between the layers. I have my llama template here that I kind of jimmied together, which is why there's a big white stripe in the middle. I will link the template that I used below, and if you have big enough paper, you won't even have to worry about that. To make it easier to cut out the shape of the llama, I'm just going to snip off the legs and the ear. Make sure you keep those because you're going to need them for later. I'm cutting out the lower part of the body first. You can see that the head overhangs a bit. You just want to make sure that you keep your scrap cake so that you can move that up and make up that space. I'm not being too picky about the little pieces of confetti that are hanging off. That's just going to be made with fondant later, so you just want the general shape. You can see here I'm putting that piece of scrap cake underneath the head and then just cutting away the excess. I did end up cutting away the mouth part because I'm just going to make that from fondant. Now that I have the shape of the body, I'm going to apply a thin layer of buttercream all around my cake to lock in all of those loose crumbs so that they don't end up in my final ice and make my fondant lumpy and bumpy. Once I'm finished, that's going in the fridge for about 25 minutes to chill and when you can touch your finger to the buttercream and none of it comes off, it's ready for the final ice. I added another layer of buttercream all around my cake and the only place I was being really picky to smooth it out is the head because that's going to be covered in just plain old fondant whereas the rest of the body is going to be covered in the confetti pieces and you won't see the buttercream texture underneath anyway. I put that back in the fridge to chill and now I'm going to start on my fondant. I have four colors ready to go here, light purple, dark purple, darker blue, and lighter blue. I took some of that lighter purple fondant and rolled it out on my cornstarch surface to about an eighth of an inch thick and then I picked that up and draped it over my chilled cake, just working quickly to smooth it down. I used my template as a reference to make sure that I covered enough space with that and then I worked my way down the edges of the cake until I reached the bottom. I used my template to make sure I wasn't cutting the fondant too short so I just gave myself a little extra room here and then I peeled that away and cut around the excess at the bottom and removed that as well. You can see I have a little tear in my fondant there, but it's no big deal because I'm going to cover it with the mouth later on. I'm using my fondant tool to mark in right below that harness line so that I know where the confetti needs to come up to. I cut off one little piece of the confetti from my template and then out of all four of my fondant colors, I started punching out a ton of those. I'm not gonna lie to you and pretend that I used the template for each piece. I burned my hand really badly before I started making this cake, so it was not a fun time. Eventually, I just started eyeballing the pieces and it worked out totally fine for me. Once I had cut a bunch out, I started layering them on my cake. I started out with light purple and then between the little gaps, another layer of light purple slightly higher up and then dark purple, dark blue, and light blue, and I worked my way all the way up. Towards the top of the neck, you have a little more of the light purple than any other color, so I added extra of those. And then where they met the harness line, I just trimmed them down so they didn't go over that line. I started deconstructing the rest of my template, starting with the saddle. I cut out all of the pieces and then glued them together with a little bit of water.
I rolled out dark blue for the legs into this snaky shape and then just trimmed them down to size. I let those sit a little bit before I inserted a skewer into them and added the black bottom. With more of that light purple, I cut out the ear. I rolled this out a little thicker so it wasn't really thin. And I also cut out the jaw and added a little white piece for the mouth. I used a piping tip to make the eye and then with my rolling pin just made it more into an eggy oval shape. I put that on top of some black fondant and cut out just a little border to make it stand out a bit more and added a pupil into the center. I cut out a long black strip of fondant for the main harness on top of the confetti and then with my template I used that to mark out where the eye should go before attaching that. I added a thinner piece of black fondant near the back of my head and then used the template as a guide for where the mouth should go. I just stuck a little piece of dried spaghetti into the mouth before I inserted it to help hold it in place. I used piping tips for the little buckle at the front of the harness. And then for the ear, again, I just used a piece of spaghetti to hold it in place. Next, I brushed the back of the saddle before placing it down. You can see for the legs, I've inserted a piece of skewer into both of those. They were a little too heavy for spaghetti. And you can see I wrapped the very bottoms with some black fondant. I tried putting the tail on the board and I thought it looked a little weird, so I added a piece of dark purple fondant in the rough shape of how I wanted the tail to be, and then I cut out strips of that fondant and placed it on top just to cover up that like blob shape I had. And this was a final result, guys. I did leave the sides of the cake with just buttercream. Again, I burned my hands, so I did not have the time or patience to put the pieces down the side. But if you would like to do that just to make the whole thing cohesive, you can do that or leave it with just the buttercream. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of requests for something Fortnite themed, so I hope that this did it for you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. I will see you in the next one.